Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now with Linda Bryden, CEO of Sunflower Association of Realtors. Good morning. Good morning. Now, thanks for joining us today. You know, we've been talking about kind of preparedness for mm -hmm. our first September, and September is also um, Realtor Safety Month. And as I understand it, you know, it's not just about realtors, but, you know, buyers and sellers and pretty much everybody else kind of involved in almost you know, home buying and that whole industry. So, yeah, tell us more about Realtor um, Safety Month. Kind of what, what do you guys kind of look at and factor into your guys' job every day? Right. Well, you know, uh, technology has really kind of changed a lot of uh, the ways people used to do their real estate business mm -hmm. simply because it's emails and texts and not as much face-to-face -face contact mm -hmm. so you don't really know the person um, that you're dealing with um, and so we really encourage all of Realtors to make sure that the first time they meet a potential client it's in their office okay. it's not alone in a vacant house mm -hmm. um, that they have done their homework really and spent some time trying to find out more about that person other than just a name mm -hmm. um, because uh, you never know unfortunately when some people are posing as a client but really they have ill intent they're they're not interested in buying a home okay. so yeah I mean that's something that maybe like people that aren't in the realtor business don't even really think about mm -hmm. and like, I guess as you were talking about some of the dangers where you're going to these houses or empty houses a lot of the right. time and you don't know where they're gonna be at you know mm -hmm. like some of the dangers right there like what else is kind of goes into the dangers of that job I would suppose right that um, that is that's happening <laughs> well in realtors are an easy target because they work alone mm -hmm. typically um, open houses can be an issue especially if you're not very diligent about that last person really being out of the house or if you haven't kept track of how many people come in mm -hmm. but also how many people have left mm. um, you don't want to be in a situation where you're showing a home and you're allowing the client to be behind you mm -hmm. that can be a dangerous situation um, typically the best and safest thing is to let them look at the house and stay in a in a local or a central place close to an exit so that if something would arise then you have a safe yeah. way out like a, a lot of spatial awareness exactly okay. exactly yeah and are there other ways to protect yourselves? Like, I, I, could you like bring an assistant with you, or a coworker, a friend, even? Yeah, like what systems are in place out there? Well, it, it depends on the mm -hmm. on the realtor. <laughs> um, you know, we we always think that nothing bad will ever happen to us. It's always somebody else. But um, the statistics for realtors either feeling unsafe or threatened or actually being attacked are are pretty high. Um, so. Absolutely, if you're going to show a house, um, tell your office mate or your buddy, have a buddy system, where you're going, uh, what time you should be back, and if you're not, have them call mm -hmm. you. Um, again, open houses, it's never a bad idea to take somebody with you, yeah. just to be safe. Um, never have your car blocked in in a driveway, always park on the street mm. because um, a perpetrator could potentially block mm -hmm. you in and, yeah. and cut off an exit for you. So. Yeah, I know, those are all good ideas. And mm -hmm. uh, also we speak with open houses, you know, sometimes you sell a house people still live in, it, it, it may be dressed up and decorated. Are there ways to, for the seller to protect like their identity almost at an open house? Right, um, I, I, most realtors will always say take your personal items down anything of value stow it away hide it mm -hmm. um, I've even heard where it's a good idea just to put it in a box and lock it in your trunk a mm -hmm. um, lot of times some of these people will work in tandem one will be distracting the realtor while the other one is pilfering course, yeah. through drawers uh, you always want to make sure you don't have prescription drugs out because that's a target for some people um, family photos you know it's unfortunate that there are so many things you have to be aware mm -hmm. of but children's photos 
child predators will also know that that house has a small mm -hmm. child and that just gives them more information yeah. than they should have. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, something to be aware of. And then, mm -hmm. you know, along the lines of kind of keeping your identity a little un an an anonymity, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, like when you're in the digital landscape, you know, a lot of money is involved with buyers and selling homes. And as you were talking about, people work in tandem, the scams to kind of the, get the better of you. Yeah. What, what are ways that, you know, the uh, even uh, buyers can kind of protect themselves from a potential phishing scam when online, you're, you're talking to realtors online through email, Right. You have no face. Right. Yeah, what are ways to protect yourselves with that? Well, that's a huge problem, and it's grown exponentially over the last few years. And, and the loss in uh, wire fraud financially is in the millions of dollars. And I know buyers get so excited. Mm -hmm. They want they want to get in that house, and they want to close that deal. Yeah, like, that let's get deal. that done. Let's Especially get it in this, done. Uh, this is a hot market right now. We've had this exactly. year. Yeah, you, you jump in there. You make deals fast. Yes. Well, one of the things that you really have to watch out for as a buyer is getting an email that says we're changing your wiring instructions mm -hmm. because um, that's a really red flag and what you should do is you should take your mouse and hover over that email address because usually there's a one little thing wrong mm -hmm. in there uh, or forward don't reply because you're just replying back to the person that's trying to steal your money forward it and see what happens. It yeah. probably is going to come back undeliverable. Yeah. But, um, it, I mean, the money moves so quickly with wire transfers. Mm -hmm. By the time you may have a bad feeling and figure out I'm, that I shouldn't have done yeah. that, the money has moved three or four times. And it's gone. Well, the, the sooner it's reported, the better your chances are mm -hmm. of getting some of it recovered. But the longer you wait, that goes down. Good to know. Yeah, always mm -hmm. double check with your your familiar right. realtor. Give them a call if you will, if anything else. Don't don't stand. Don't stick to the same uh, message. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And do not call the number on the email. Yeah. You know, call the title Go company. Go with what you've known and you exactly. know, stay safe like that. Don't don't fall into the trap. <laughs> exactly. Well, <laughs> Linda, thank you so much for joining us today. These were all great ideas that kind of keep us a little bit safer, you know, not yeah. only this month, but for the rest of our lives. That's right. Every day. <laughs> and for more information, you can go to sunflowerrealtors.com.